Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel and welcome to another very interesting tour. So I'm stood in front of a castle that dates back to 1718. I'm in Greenwich in Greater London. Now what I'm going to be showing to you today is an apartment that's actually over four storeys because this building behind me that was built in 1718 now is apartments. So we're going to have a full tour. There's some amazing history to this building. So this property is four bedrooms, three and a half baths, over four stories. It's listed at 2.75 million pounds with Rubens from Nest Seekers. All of his contact details will be in the description below. Let's start the tour on the exterior. So here are the gates and you can see opposite is Greenwich Park. Now I'll just mention about our stabilizer before we start the tour. It's actually broken. We're gonna be getting a new one. So we will do our best to keep this tour stable for you. Now you have two off-road parking spaces for your apartment. Now let's head inside. Take a look up at the castle and the towers. Truly amazing. And there's four apartments in yeah. this castle now, isn't there? Yeah. Let's see more inside. Proper castle doors. Here in the entrance, this is the lobby area for the two apartments. So this door goes to one of them. And then this door is into the main living area of the apartment we're gonna show you. Let's talk some more about the architect though, Sir John Vanborough. Um, he was the one who designed this castle and built it in 1718. So this place was inspired by Bastille in Paris and the architect, funnily enough, was actually imprisoned there for two years um, on account of espionage, which is really interesting. So now let's start the tour. Let's get into the main apartment. The architect also designed Blenheim Palace in yes. Oxfordshire, which is a very popular building. So the first thing you notice in here is incredibly high ceilings, as you will see. And this property keeps on going. As I said, we've got four stories to show you. So across at this side of the room, you have a big eight-seater dining table with views across um, Canary Wharf and Greenwich Park. On a sunny day, you can see the skyscrapers. Obviously, it's a bit snowy today. This living area has a real fireplace in the middle, which would only be right for a castle of this kind. Okay, now from here, come through these oak doors into a hallway area. Now, outside is communal gardens. There's around two and a half acres of communal gardens. We've then got oak doors again into the kitchen. So the square footage of this building, or this apartment specifically, is just over 3,000 square feet. I'll put the exact amount on screen. This is the kitchen, so you've got Falcon, big oven. Look how high the ceilings are in here. No. And this is the view. As usual, I'm very curious to hear your thoughts on properties like this, unique homes. Would you live in something like this? Let us know in the comments below. And obviously like and subscribe to the channel if you're new. Let's continue. This property is a share of the freehold. Yeah. So it isn't a leasehold property. So this area, these have recently been sanded down and painted white. Um, they were originally quite a dark wood before. That's been done by the owners. and makes you look a lot more fresh and modern, which I think is great. This in here is the turret outside. There's a square, is it called a turret? Yeah. Tower. Tower, yeah, yeah tower. Yeah, it's the tower and it goes straight over. You can actually see the circular one out the window here as well. Amazing. Okay, so from here, we have a very interesting downstairs loose seat. Now we're going to show you the basement. Let's go. This is where all the main appliances can be kept then. So you've got the Miele washer and dryer through here. Now you also have a wine cellar. So interesting exploring, right? Okay, let's head back up to the next floor. Okay, so we're going to head upstairs now to the first floor. So as you can see, we have stairs up to another floor, a little set of stairs up here, where there's a chest of drawers. Which way should we go first? Have a look down here as well. Okay. The master bedroom is on this floor, so we'll show you that first. So you have the bedroom, the dressing room and the bathroom. Gorgeous high ceilings in here. We've got a freestanding bath and a shower behind the door. 
and we can see the shadow. Oh, nice. Yeah, amazing ceiling height in here. Yeah. Next up is the dressing room. And here we go. The main bedroom of the house. And this property is actually grade one listed. And so two and a half percent of all listed buildings in the UK, only two and a half percent are grade one. You obviously hear a lot of grade two listed buildings, but this is grade one listed. Yeah, so it's of exponential interest yeah. is what they refer to it. Now this bedroom here is as big as the living room downstairs. And the same floor plan as you can see, the bay window is the dining room area. We'll put the room measurements on the screen. You've got a fireplace at the front. That'd be really nice when that's yeah, down. Yeah, it's a lovely big room. Let me show you over here then. So you've got a seat and a table and then great views across London. Let's head up to the next floor. We have three more bedrooms to show you. And there's also an annex, which is self-contained. And um, we'll show you that at the end of the video, so stay tuned. Okay, around this corner. <laughs> Storage cupboard on my right. Go. Oh, going up. Before we get to the next floor, we have. Yeah, what's this? This is part of the, Is it the tower? Yeah, I think I'm in the. I'm in the tower. <laughs> okay, cool. <laughs> be a nice desk if you want to do some yeah. work in here. Just a quirky character feature. Right, let's go in this room. Nice. Yeah, decent room. Right, let's keep exploring. On the left, we have the laundry cupboard. Yep. Shower room. Head heights are fine, still standing up. Yep. It does, obviously, the head heights do get smaller as you go up the house. It's a nice shower, though. Really nice. Like a sauna. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I, can, I can still stand up, just. <laughs> Two more bedrooms down here. You start to feel quite high when you look out the window. Yeah. Let's have a quick look. We're in a castle. I know. This castle is over 300 years old. Wow. Here's the last bedroom then. We could get a double bed in here. But... Yeah, the fireplace. This would have been like the nanny's room. And there's another floor with a roof terrace. More so stairs, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> okay, it's a bit chilly up here. Ah, this is the roof garden. Into the blizzard. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, it's a proper blizzard. Wait, make sure we don't get locked oh, out. Oh, I've got it. So this is temporary and that's what it's called where you have a area on a listed building that you can change so this is that here let's look at the park and the what's it called again so it's the greenwich observatory and if you're familiar with world time greenwich mean time that there is the observatory tower so the center of all time really which is used all around the world the door's about to slip Okay. okay, come around this I side as well. Yeah. You can see the skyscrapers. Yeah, it's a very unclear day, but you can see into Canary Wharf and the skyscrapers and you're not far away from Central. There's a big compass up there, so that way is west. Right, let's get back inside. Right, it's bloody cold out here. I'm going back inside. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's the interior shown. Hope you guys enjoyed the tour. Make sure to comment below and like the video. Let's go check out the annex. Let's do it. Okay, I've got my coat on now and we're going outside. As Matt mentioned at the start, there's two and a half acres of communal grounds. 
but each property has their own little area corner that they keep up to date and maintained. Look how beautiful these hedges are. Beautiful, and there's a isn't pond it? that's frozen over. Yeah. Landscapes garden there, and then you've got this lawned area, which of course is normally lovely and green. This is the entrance to the annex down. It's very deceptive, this, like a TARDIS, or more like a bunker. And can you see that blue shed over there on the camera? Yeah, in the background. That's a fire exit for the yeah. South Montaigne. So the whole annex is under this area here. Yeah. And then also it's a bit snowy, so we're not going to go over there, but there's actually a building there where you have a storage unit as well. And there's a woods down there, which has like a tennis court and amphitheater buried under. Buried under, yeah. Because when the um, architect lived here, John, what's his name again? Bambra. John what? John Vanbrugh. Yes. <laughs> when John Vanbrugh lived here, he did drama and had performances there. So that's pretty interesting, the yeah, history. Yeah, amazing. Let's check right. this place out. Let's go down. On the left of me, there is a bathroom, or well, shower room. This whole area was recently converted, or well, a few years ago, I think, by the owners. Yeah. Converted. Kitchen. Yep. And then this would be the living. Well, you could do whatever in here, but this could be a living space and then a bedroom at the back. Yeah, could be a gym, cinema room. This yeah, is a bedroom. cinema room. That'd be cool. This is, and then that's the other escape hatch. There is air filtration. Yeah. Through here as well. Obviously, there's no windows, so you can't classify it as a yeah. bedroom. You couldn't rent it out as an apartment legally. Be a cool bunker if yeah. like an apocalypse happened. I know, right? Well, it kind of has, hasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's head back outside and finish the video. Here it is from the back then. So that's where we were. Wow. We hope you enjoyed this video tour. Make sure to contact Rubens if you want any more details. Obviously, we're not the listing agent or agents ourselves. So we'll put all his contact details in the description. Make sure to like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video.